Today, we are going to learn how to make a Manhattan, and more importantly, we're going to learn about the stir cocktail family of cocktails. So the Manhattan is this mother umbrella, and there's this beautiful family tree of all kinds of gorgeous classic cocktails that stem off from this. The Old Fashioned, the Sazerac, the Manhattan, the Martini, the Vodka Martini, they all, I mean, the list goes way on, but they all fall under this category. And we're going to treat these ingredients differently than we did, uh, say, the sour family. So what we have here is exclusively spiritous ingredients. This benefits from a low and slow method. We don't want that same agitation that we do with something that has juice in it. So when we're talking about a martini or a Manhattan, we're going to have to ignore James Bond. We've all heard the shaken, not stirred martini reference. And while that may be a great metaphor for life, a good martini, it does not make. So let's learn how to make it colder. Let's learn how to make it more silken. Let's learn how to make it more delicious. I promise you, the wee bit of patience that it requires is totally worth it. So let's learn how we do it. So as we make our Manhattan, let's learn this template. So we're going to start with an ounce of sweet vermouth. I'm using a gorgeous Italian spicy sweet vermouth to pair with this beautiful rye that I'm using today. So one ounce of that sweet vermouth is punta mess. A few dashes of some Angostura bitters. What are bitters? Well, bitters are a very concentrated infusion of spices and botanicals that are used kind of like salt and pepper for a cocktail. Now we're going to hit it with two ounces of some rye whiskey here. And again, we do not want to shake it here. This does not benefit at all from agitation or aeration. This liquid is a lot like me. It's plenty agitated as is. Thank you very much. So we're going to hit it with some ice. And now the idea is, is we are going to keep this liquid moving around so that that liquid circulates with this moving ice. And in doing so, we have an end result that's about 20 degrees colder than had we shaken it, but without bruising it, agitating it, shaking it, over diluting it, we have this gorgeous, uh, viscosity that gives it this beautiful textural thing that makes the cocktail so enjoyable and everybody wins. So as we stir, it may seem like I'm stirring it for a very long time. You'd be wrong. What is a long time, first of all? But second of all, we're not stirring it to mix these ingredients. They're already mixed. We're just giving it the most gentle method of bringing that temperature down. Think of it, instead of searing some, searing, the difference between searing a steak on some high heat and putting a roast in a smoker at low heat. If that makes sense for the, our, our home chefs out there. But as I stir this, I can already see we're getting really, really close. And if you guys could only smell what we got cooking here, it is beautiful. All those beautiful, sweet caramelized notes from that gorgeous rye whiskey. Kind of has this maple-y brown sugar thing going on. I can smell the spices. It smells like cinnamon and nutmeg. And if you see me pouring this, can you see that? It almost looks syrupy. It didn't start off that way. That just means we got it really, really cold. You could garnish this with a cherry. I am going to use a little oil off this lemon peel. Now, did we make a cocktail? Yes, we did. But hopefully, your takeaway is not a recipe, but a formula. You can switch the rye whiskey for any spirit. You can sub out your sweet vermouth for anything that is lower ABV. The idea is we have a ratio of two to one. Two parts 
of something uh, full proof, 80 proof or higher, and then something else lower ABV, ABV usually wine based, and when you incorporate them thusly, what you're left with is just a triumph of beauty. Let's give this a try. Mm. You know it's good when I haven't even sipped it yet. I'm just enjoying the nose. That is drop dead gorgeous. And that is a Manhattan. And that applies to any spirit. Hope you guys were able to uh, take away the template we were trying to get across. And here's to wishing you guys great drinking at home while you're hunkered down. Cheers, be safe, be well. Looking forward to seeing your faces here at the club soon.